Hi, this is Randall with Carter Hill Honeybees. Well, it's been, uh, I believe, eight days since I caught this swarm. If memory serves, this is the one I caught out of the dogwood tree. I did the film on how I catch swarms eight and a half, nine feet and above. So uh, it's been working pretty good here, and now it's time to take a look and see if we have any brood. But regardless of what we find, I'm gonna take the queen excluder out and, and let them go because they're, they're working just fine. So let's see what we got in here. First thing I noticed, the bees are real calm, and that's a good indication that more than likely everything's going just fine in here. So let me get myself a little room here and let's see if we have any eggs yet. We should have some eggs and larvae. I'm pretty sure this would be a older queen. Well, actually, there's the queen right there. And I can tell already by looking at her, I'm pretty sure I was wrong. Because she looks and moves around like a virgin queen. That's her right there. I'm hoping, hoping you can see that. But see how nervous and runny she is? That's, that's typical of a, in my experience, that's pretty much what I see with a virgin queen. And I don't see any eggs here. So let me take a look at a couple of these other frames. She's probably going to have to go on her mating flight before she's going to be able to lay. That's exactly what I'm seeing. I'm not seeing any eggs at all. To be honest, there's really nothing in here. And the problem may be uh, there's not no pollen coming in. That could be the reason that she's not laying. But she certainly does have that virgin look to her. Well, either way, I'm going to get the queen excluder off of here. And I'm going to put a pollen patty on here. And even if she's not a virgin, that should give the bees the protein they need to get her to laying. Also, I don't think there's near as many bees here as there was. Take a look at this one, too. I believe I had it backwards. I believe this is the swarm I caught nine foot and above and that first one up there is the one that's that was the easy catch i caught right over there i never did see that queen so that's that makes sense now i don't see any eggs in that one yet they've got a little bit of pollen stored in this side or that one that one's got some nectar and some pollen in there so they're getting some stores so i just got to see if i can find some eggs they may not be getting very much pollen right now yeah I don't see any eggs in that one either I don't see any eggs there either well, I'm pretty sure this is the one that was in the dogwood tree that was about 12 foot off the ground and I caught that queen and put her in the box so I at least I know she was in here at that point I'm thinking that you know and I probably should have done this at first but I'm thinking I need to go ahead and put a pollen supplement patty on here I don't think I don't believe they're getting quite enough protein coming in right now quite a bit of bees down here so I want to look make sure that she's not down here I have once before had a queen sneak out on me and get underneath the queen excluder but typically typically there's at least eggs and young larvae in here after a week unless it's a virgin queen if it's a virgin queen they don't two or three then at least there ain't much I can do about it okay I've got me a complete uh, pollen supplement patty here I'm gonna cut it in half and the reason I'm doing this uh, this is the bigger swarm of the two but the reason I'm doing this here in northwest Alabama small high beetles can become a problem so I'm giving them a big area around here where the nurse bees can access it, access it from all sides and they'll be able to police this better and harass the small high beetles if they get around this stuff. You know, and I don't know that this is the answer for sure, but just looking in here, they've had seven or eight days, very little pollen 
and even in a spring like this, you can have a few days with well, there's very little pollen coming in, and that may be what's happening now. But I feel like this will give them the needed protein to go ahead and get started. So that's what we're going to try anyway. So I'm back here at the first. This is the first box opened up. Bees are all nicely clustered in there. I took the queen excluder off of both of these colonies. This is the smaller swarm. And they had even less pollen than the other one. So I'm going to give them about a half a patty. Scored up good where they can get to it from all sides pretty easy. And I'm going to place it right here. Actually, that's already nearly broken too. I'll just go ahead and break it up in two or three pieces. That's probably even better. All right, this, this colony, it, it had very little protein in there. I saw the queen. I felt like pretty sure it was a virgin way she's running around, way she looks. It's hard to put into words, but I can I can usually tell the difference in a virgin and an older queen. Older queen seems to be more calm and confident. Uh, a virgin queen system seems to be jittery and runs around a lot, and that's what that one was kind of doing. But she'll need to make her mating flight, and hopefully they'll take to this pollen supplement and begin making some jelly. And hopefully this queen will get mated in the next two or three days and start laying. Well, anyway, I'm going to put them back together. And we'll give them about a week and come back and check and see if they started laying. Hopefully we'll see some eggs and young to middle-aged larvae by that time. Just prior to them capping the brood, I'm going to come in and flog both of these colonies that I just caught with oxalic acid. And if there's any uh, mites in there, that should clean them up before they cap any of the brood. If I wait till the brood's capped, it's really too late to do that because it's only going to kill the mites that's on the outside of the cabins. Well, we'll give you an update on this in about a week and see how it goes. So I appreciate you for joining me for this short video today. We'll see you next time.